Welcome back. Go ahead and suffocate the like button. Stick around until the end to see our next disturbing story you can't afford to miss. The Verse In the sleepy town of Eldridge, nestled between whispering forests and rolling hills, an ancient evil stirred, unleashed by a curious historian who unwittingly deciphered a forbidden text, a demon bound for centuries, sought vengeance upon the living. Night after night, shadows lengthened and an unnatural chill settled over Eldridge. Residents spoke in hushed tones of figures seen in the twilight, of loved ones vanishing into the night, their screams echoing in the darkness before being abruptly silenced. The demon, reveling in its freedom, was relentless. Its form was ever-changing, a nightmare made flesh, seen in the corner of one's eye before disappearing, leaving behind only the stench of sulfur and the palpable sense of dread. The town's streets, once filled with the laughter of children and the bustling of daily life, grew silent as families barricaded themselves indoors, praying for dawn. Amidst the despair, a lone figure sought answers. Thomas, a schoolteacher with a deep faith and a heart burdened by the loss of his own family to the demon's wrath, scoured ancient scriptures for a way to end the nightmare. His search led him to a dusty, forgotten tome in the town's old library. A Bible, its pages yellowed with age, that spoke of entities ancient and malevolent, and the means to bind them once more. Within its pages, Thomas found a passage, a verse of power and promise, said to have the strength to banish the darkest of beings back to the abyss from which they came. Clutching the Bible to his chest, Thomas set out as the sun dipped below the horizon, the demon's presence a palpable weight in the air. He found it in the town square, where the shadows pulled darkest, a swirling mass of darkness from which no light escaped. The demon, sensing the threat Thomas posed, turned its malevolent gaze upon him, a predator confronting the first challenge to its reign of terror. With the town's remaining residents watching from the safety of their homes, Thomas began to recite the verse, his voice steady and clear. The words, ancient and powerful, filled the air, a light beginning to shine from the pages of the Bible, illuminating the darkness. The demon howled, a sound of rage and fear, as the light grew brighter, piercing its form, revealing the twisted creature within. It lunged for Thomas, intent on silencing the words that spelled its doom. But Thomas did not falter. He continued to speak, the verse reaching its crescendo as the demon's form began to unravel, the shadows dissolving under the onslaught of light. With a final, ear-splitting scream, the demon vanished, banished back to the depths, the verse's power too great for it to withstand. As silence fell over Eldridge, the residents emerged from their homes, the dawn breaking over a town freed from nightmare. Thomas, his mission complete, looked around at the faces of those he had saved, knowing that while the demon was gone, the scars it left would take longer to heal, but in the heart of the town, hope had been rekindled, a testament to the power of faith and the courage of one man who stood against the darkness. As Eldridge began to heal, the town hailed Thomas as a hero, his bravery the beacon that guided them through their darkest hour. Life slowly returned to normal, the horror of the nights under the demon's siege fading into memory. Yet Thomas found no peace, a gnawing sense of unease tugged at his soul, a whisper that cautioned the battle was not truly won. Weeks turned into months and the chill of autumn swept through Eldridge, painting the leaves in hues of fire. It was on a night when the wind howled through the empty branches that Thomas's fears were realized. Awakened by a sound, a familiar dread-filled echo of the past, he rushed to his window, his heart sinking as he peered into the darkness. The shadows writhed and twisted, congregating in the town square where he had banished the demon. But this time, they formed not one entity, but many, a legion of shadows. Each one, a sinister mirror of the demon Thomas, had thought destroyed. The verse, powerful though it was, had not banished the demon, but fractured it, dispersing its essence across the realm of shadows. Thomas watched in horror as the figures began to move, drifting silently towards the homes of Eldridge, their intent clear. The demon, in its defiance, had cursed the town with its dying breath, dooming its residents to a fate worse than death. 
As the realization dawned upon him, Thomas felt the weight of despair crush him. The victory he had claimed was an illusion, a fleeting moment of light before the plunge into a deeper darkness. The demon, in its multitude of forms, would haunt Eldridge, a terror without end, a reminder of the price of meddling with forces beyond comprehension. The town, once a peaceful haven, became a place of nightmares. Its story, a cautionary tale, whispered across the winds, a legend of the schoolteacher who faced the demon and the terrifying surprise that awaited him. Eldridge, forevermore, would be known as the town that fought the shadows and lost, its streets haunted by the echoes of a battle that was never truly won. Let us know what you thought of this story in the comments. Thank you for listening. Join us tomorrow for a new untold story. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more artificial apparitions. And while you're here, go ahead and listen to the next terrifying story on your screen.